What's up, everybody? Hello, my loves. Jasmine Atten, Mystic at the Crossroads. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you three tips for working with St. Expedite. St. Expedite candles and how I petition him for my spiritual work. Um, St. Expedite is known as a patron saint to deliver very fast and quick results. Typically, St. Expedite... Mm, I'm going to say most of the time is known for and used to petition in emergency money magic. So things where you need some serious money to come through in a short amount of time. Um, he has been known to work in specific. Hold on, you guys. My TV just came on. I'm sorry. Um, known to be used in legal cases, court cases. I've known people to work with St. Expedite for love-related situations and things like that. However, hi everybody, thanks for joining. Um, however, for the most part, St. Expedite is typically almost all the time when I see someone praising his name or giving thanks to him, which is something you have to do if, you, if he does grant your wish. Um, typically, it's for money-related cases. So I'm curious to see. Hey, guys. Hi, Rosa. Hey, Carol. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you for joining. Hey, Kendra, Vince, Turner, Taisha. Um, have any of you worked with St. Expedite? Are you familiar with him? St. Expedite tends to get... He tends to be, in my opinion, one of those particular spirits that are only petitioned when something is needed. And that's okay. Unlike a lot of other deities that you have to set up these altars for and establish this kind of long-term relationship with, the beauty of St. Expedite is you can go to him simply for when something is needed. Um, in my opinion, St. Expedite has always come through like 100% of the time. That's not really the experience for some people. People tell me I burned a St. Expedite candle and I didn't see any results. And there's a multiple number of reasons why that could be. I'm not gonna get into the reasons why you won't see results, but I will give you some tips to ensure that you will next time. Thanks for the heart, you guys. Um, also, oh, hold on, as usual, I'm missing something. I also came across one of my clients, Andrea, sit two boxes of St. Expedite incense to me. And I don't even think, this one's not even open yet. I have only seen St. Expedite incense once. I, I don't know why I don't see it. It's probably online. I don't see it in like botanicas and stuff like that. But I would definitely suggest that if you can come across a box of St. Expedite incense, then you would, this is upside down and backwards, <laughs> then you would want to combine the two together because the incense is going to be used as an offering and it's already going to be prepared with the essentials and the botanicals to call upon his spiritual energy. So typically um, St. Expedite candles that I've seen come in red and they come in yellow. I've been told that they come in green and there are particular days of the week that you burn the candles for him. Me, I've never really kind of, you know, I don't do anything by the rules anyway. I've always used yellow St. Expedite candles. I have used red ones before, and I did see results, but for whatever reason, this is what works for me. So this is the typical one that you'll find in a Botanica. It comes with a prayer on the back. Now, outside of a lot of other videos where I tell you guys, say your affirmations, say your prayers, you know, do Psalms or whatever, St. Expedite is very particular with the way that you work with him and the way that you petition him. So with St. Expedite, it would behoove you to recite the prayer that's on the back of the candle. So you can see, I always make sure that I get a candle where the wording is, and it's in English, Spanish and English, that I can read it. I always use his prayer. Even if it's not the one on here, if you Google, there's an actual like form, there's a whole web page with different St. Expedite prayers on there. You will see better results if you petition him with his prayer than anything else. And that's not necessarily the same for any other saint or spiritual energy that you work with. But St. Expedite, if you don't follow the one, two, three steps, you may not see the results. So that could be why a lot of people didn't really get the results that they're looking for. So tip number one, what do I dress St. Expedite with? I've always dressed him with cinnamon. 
Um, I've been doing some research lately and I see other ingredients like allspice, honeysuckle. Um, <sighs> there was one more, it's gonna come to me. And if it does, I'll put it down in the comments. So what I'm gonna do today, so this is my, this is cinnamon essential oil. I got this at my local health food store. And this is honeysuckle oil that I had laying around from a spiritual bath that I did. This is by Azure Green. I'm gonna combine the honeysuckle with the cinnamon oil and the allspice. I've always only used cinnamon oil. I've had great results, but now I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I would add a couple things that I know that he really likes. So honeysuckle, cinnamon, allspice into his candle. That can be in the essential oil form or it can be in the you know spice and dried herb form. Tip number two, you always want to you always, with anyone that you call upon, you want to give an offering of some sort. There's kind of a lot of controversy back and forth whether or not it's okay to offer St. Expedite water. Um, I personally don't give alcohol to him. Some people say give him alcohol. Some people have a reservation about this is one saint that you don't try to get drunk. Um, I'll leave that up to your discretion. I'm not going to debate that. If that's what you do, that's what you do. I put alcohol on my altar for specific spirits and for my ancestors, but I don't give, everybody doesn't get wine because that's not what they all require. So I always place water. You can never go wrong with water. Spirits are always thirsty. Water is a conductor of energy. Water will protect your spiritual work. Water will absorb any negative energy that comes in and tries to stop what it is that you're manifesting. So if you had nothing else to offer, I mean, water is free. It comes out the tap. So you can always offer water. So I always place a glass of water next to his candle and I always put a rose up there. Um, that's pretty traditional, pretty typical. You give water, you give a rose, that's very important. You can go pick a rose, depending on, you know, if you're in the snow, maybe not, but find some roses and give him a rose. So that's kind of how I work with him. I write out my petitions with St. Expedite specifically. He is not someone that you go to with this long battery list of things you wanna see happen. I typically go to him with one request, whatever is the most pressing, maybe two if they tie into each other, but for the most part, you go to him with one request. So you have a money issue, you have a legal issue, you have a court case issue, you got a bill that needs to be paid immediately, whatever it is, you go to him with just that one thing. Like I said in the beginning, the best part about St. Expedite is he doesn't require you continuing this ongoing relationship. If you petition him the right way, you dress his candle, you say his prayer, you ask for what you want, he comes in, he gets in, he delivers, he gets out, and it's okay. That's the beauty of working with him. Now, what is critical, critical to remember, unlike anybody else that you work with, or like, oh, I won't say that, any deity, saint, spirit guide that you work with, you should always show your gratitude and be appreciative. But with Saint Expedite specifically, if he grants your request, which he probably will, and what I've learned is, sidebar, um, it's okay to date your petitions with him. So let's say, I've seen him come through in three days. He'll come through before the candle's even burned out. Let's say it's today's Monday and you have some kind of emergency showed up and you need some money by Sunday, it's okay to tell him, I need this by this particular day. That's the beauty of St. Expedite. Expedite. He delivers things in a very short amount of time. So it's good in your petition to write out what you need and tell him, I need it by this day. When the results come through, this is very important. This is like critical. This is like, if you don't do this, you will lose what you just got very quickly. You have to do a couple of things. One, you have to give him an offering of pound cake. Five slices of pound cake. Um, from my understanding in hoodoo or in Southern folk magic, it's Sara Lee pound cake. Um, I've used just regular store-bought pound cake. I've used Sara Lee pound cake. My aunt has baked a pound cake. I kind of think baking it would be a little bit better, but um, five slices of pound cake in any way, shape, or form. 
and you give him public recognition. You acknowledge him for what he did. You say, thank you, St. Expedite. You don't have to include what it was that he came through for you on. You can keep that personal. But those are the two things that are imperative. You have to do that. Or one, he will not ever work with you again. And two, what he gave you, he could very well take away. And that's the one thing about working with deities and working with spirits that people don't tend to remember. They go and petition, especially if you're new and you're practicing magic and maybe you don't know, which is okay, but you go petition these saints and petition these spirits and you ask for stuff. And if you don't give them their recognition and if you don't give them an offering properly, as quickly as they gave it to you, they will take that stuff right back. And then you'll be like, what happened? It's the same thing as you tell a friend, hey, do this favor for me and I'm going to shoot you some money and you don't do it. Guess what? They're not going to do it for you again. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to really keep in mind. Um, I see a lot of times in Let's Talk Magic, people we will, will like post like, thank you, St. Expedite or thank you, whoever it is. And I feel like personally, any deity that you work with, any saint, any spirit guide that came to your um, rescue, basically, you should thank them publicly. There's nothing to hide, honestly because they came through for you. So, but with St. Expedite specifically, those are very two extremely important things, rules, not even things, those are rules that you have to follow when he comes through for you. Um, in my personal experience, I have petitioned him and let's say I needed something to come through on a Thursday and maybe it didn't come through on Thursday, but it came through like Friday night, same thing. I do think spirits kind of, you know, they, they work in their own time and space again they're not on our time they're on their time they have to remove obstacles and things like that to make things happen for us so don't feel discouraged if you petition saint expedite and what you want it didn't show up the day that you asked for but know that it may still come a couple of days later that's just that's just how magic works but saint expedite candle fantastic to work with um I am preparing this for someone who is, she's on her way to come pick this up. I'm going to have this ready to go for her. And he works. He really does. So this would, this is also very good for those of you, if you're new to your magic and you're not sure if you're ready to work with like ancestral work, you're not sure if you want to work with deities, you're not sure if you want to like start calling upon certain spirits, but you want to kind of get your feet wet and start working with someone that doesn't have all of those rigid requirements because that's really what it is when you start working with deities and spirit guides and you start calling in all of these different um uh i'll even say even working with ancestors from the other side and you're new that is establishing a relationship that you need to determine whether or not you're able to maintain that relationship and the good thing with saint expedite is you can get a bit of an understanding of how to petition a spirit properly how to see results, how to give thanks, how to give offerings without being in their debt or without obli being obligated and like kind of tied to them. When you work with certain spirits and you invite them in your home and you set up an altar and they grant you a wish, you're tied to them in a sense. Um, and you have to start those relationships off the right way. You have to maintain them and you have to, should you choose to end those relationships, that has to be done the right way as well. So this is something that would be a perfect ritual for a beginner. Again, St. Expedite isn't someone that I would just kind of go to for everything. Like, give me this, give me this, give me that, do this. No, 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 no. This is for when you have some really serious stuff going on and you need some emergency or some fast results and you do not want to call upon a spirit that you're going to have to establish that long-term commitment to. Very, very, very effective. So I hope this has been helpful, you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you've worked with St. Expedite. Have you seen results? Have you not seen results? Has anything that I've offered you in these three tips maybe showed you a different way to work with him? You should try it out again. Um, every spirit's not capable of granting wishes for everything. So sometimes we present things to them that they're not able to do or those things aren't for us and they're not going to do it. So really keep that in mind, what you're asking for. Are you asking because it's a genuine need? Or are you asking because it's in, an ego-based desire? And that will definitely play a part in how your magic manifests. 
And it also plays a part in who you should be petitioning and what type of ritual you should be doing. So anything that was ego-based, I would never go to St. Expedite for. I probably wouldn't go to any of my deities for. I would just work my candles and work with elements. Things that are emergency, things that I truly desire, things that I feel like are really for me, that's when I'm going to call in the big boys. You know what I mean? Like calling on spirit guides to me is like calling the big homies. Like I need y'all to come through because this is what needs to happen. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think so. Okay, so again, I hope this was helpful. Please share this video um, in your Facebook groups. If you are on my YouTube channel, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you. I will be doing, you guys know that this Thursday, I am going to be doing the Back to the Basics, um, very beginner's candle magic class. This is where I'm going all the way back, all the way back to the very beginning. So those of you that are new, and you're practicing magic. I put up a video. If you haven't seen my video, it's awesome. I just got, I just hit 47,000 views in like nine days. That's crazy to me. And I'm so appreciative. But the video is titled, What No One Will Tell You About How, how Candle Magic Really Works. And I break down all the aspects of the candle down to what the wick symbolizes and how that works in your magic. So head over to YouTube and watch that video. I'm going like I said, back to the very basics, and we're starting at the very beginning. I'm doing an entire class on the breakdown of candle magic, where it originated, how it works, how candles work, the difference in candles, um, petition writing, whether or not you need to cast a circle of protection for your spiritual work, how to play with or how to incorporate your astrological sign. We've been kind of doing that the last couple of weeks. And really, I feel like in order for you to understand how your candle magic works, you need to understand how... You have to understand how it works so you can understand how it's going to work for you. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in tomorrow's video. I, uh, yeah, my client is in a couple of minutes. So I love you guys. If you want to book a private reading or consultation with me, oneritualaway.com. You can hit me in my inbox or in my Facebook group, Let's Talk Magic. I love you guys, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow.